close the door. <clears throat> well, we've all made mistakes. It was one hell of an undercover operation that we pulled off. Yeah, you looked pretty good on TV. Yeah, well, you didn't. People really seemed to like it. I know I did. Sometimes, Captain, you have to sacrifice for the good of the people. Shut up. Let's get one thing straight here. I'm in charge of this precinct. Any of you get out of line again, you will be out of here. So, no medals then? Get out. Well, I don't think that was in the spirit of reconciliation. You can get out, too. I would if I was here. You think I'm scared of you just because you're, you're dead? Is he talking to himself? It looks like it. Maybe he's on speakerphone. Aren't you worried about the fact that you're talking to someone who isn't even here? Oh, let's see how here you really are. Oh, now, wait a minute, Sean. That's hot coffee. Well, whoever he was talking to got him hotter than his coffee. Not our problem. Let's go. Talk about coffee going right through you. Why are you doing this? Well, my calendar's pretty open, seeing as how I'm dead. Look, if this is some kind of revenge haunting, don't forget I shot you to put you out of your misery. And I thank you for that, really. But don't forget, you betrayed us all. It's the real reason I'm dead. No, I gave you an opportunity to join me. I don't think you cleared that with your friend Bonaparte. All right, I don't have to listen to any of this. Well, by the way, Bonaparte says hi. <laughs> <laughs>